Hey YouTube friends, I finished my test box here and let me show you, I put the switch on top because the box is pretty light so you know when it's, when it's sitting on top of the radio I could just push down on it to turn it on and off and I have the DC ampere meter here 0 to 3 amps and the voltmeter 0 to 150 volts and I put a long cable on and that's the plug where it plugs into the wall see and then I got a short a short cable on and that's the plug that's like the receptacle where I could plug the radio into it the box and electronics tech on YouTube told me you know he, he was thinking resettable circuit breaker and that was a pretty good idea but I, I opted with a fuse, and I didn't even think about using a fuse in it, but when he told me that, I said, you know, I should put a fuse in there. So it's just a 3 amp fuse that you could take out, Let's use a screwdriver to take it out. So I'm glad he said that. And I put the cables low so that, because the box is so light, the cables help hold it down. You know, if I put the cables higher, the box would probably want to flip. So it came out okay, I guess. I wanted to show you the schematic because people ask me about the schematic. So I drew something out real quick. And this is the AC input. And this is just a switch I put in there. And I guess you could have used like a, a double pole, a double pole single throw switch here. Another switch here, I guess. But I just used like one switch there. And this is the voltmeter here. And the voltmeter goes parallel in with the incoming volts and then here's the circuit here it kind of hops over there and goes series through the ammeter and then here's the fuse and that's one of the outputs and I called this white here and this is like the black one I guess it doesn't really matter and this is the black 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 line there so that's what the schematic looks like. So it's pretty simple. Hope that shows up okay. And then that's it there. And let me show you real quick here. This is the, uh, I just used um, two conductor because every radio I got is just two conductors. They don't use a, a third prong at all for ground. And I used the plastic box because plastic is easier to cut but also it's all fully insulated too so I'm not going to get shocked so I got something I could bring around the house see watch I could just bring it around and I could use it on this radio if I want to and I could use it on, on this guy over here so let, let me show you how it works here first uh, I gotta hook the camera up and that's the Variac there what I wanted to do was to make something um, something uh, portable and something like modular where I could bring it around the house or I could actually bring it around to uh, say I wanted to bring it around like um, say I wanted to buy a radio somewhere and I, I go on a road trip and I said well let me see if it works I could you know plug the radio into the box and see how much current it takes so it's portable like that too but let me show you how I tested it out what I did was just plug a lamp into it and I got a regular um, got a regular uh, 100 watt lamp here and I'll plug the, the box into the wall and I wanted to see if actually it was calibrated so you turn it on and turn the light on and this when I turn it up all the way it should be a hundred watts so when I look on the meter here see what it says It's hard to see, but it's 0.8 amps and a little over 120. But I know 
between the first and second line after 120, that's about 125, 124 volts. So it's 0.8 amps. So when you do the math and do a 100 watts divided by 125 volts, it gets about 0.8 amps, so that's correct. So now we're going to see how the radio works. So here we go. I'm going to plug the lamp. I'm going to plug the, the tester here into the variac. And then I can plug the radio into the test box. And this is what I would do on the bench. See, I would hook it up like that on the bench. And then turn the radio on. Use the radio. I'll turn that on. And I gotta turn the variac on. And see what I would do is check the meter here while I'm wrapping it up. There are huge new travel bargains every see, day. See like this. Let's see if that shows up here. Listen at 350 for today's edition of Clark Howard's Travel Deals on News Talk 750. Let's turn it back down. So what I would do is hook it up like that and then slowly turn up the Variac. So that's 30 volts, about 0.2 amps, 60 volts, 0.4 amps. Just ramp it up nice and slow, 90 volts. Seven, four. Okay, I got a quiz for you about capitalism. If you turn have up, just the most awful It's reputation about 0.9 amps. With the public. If the public holds you at another... Now, now when I calculate it, I just did the, the rating of the radio. And the rating of the radio is 135 watts. So I did the math, and the math came out to be a little over an amp, like 1.12 amps, something like that. So it came out to be 0.9 amps. So this seems pretty close to what it should be, and it's not over. So I would say this is like really good. So I'm kind of happy with this. So there's the tester again. And you see, I don't have to use the Variac. See, I could just shut that off. Take the Variac out of the circuit. Like that. Excuse me. I could just plug the box into the wall. And then the radio's into the box like that. And just turn it on like that. Amazing when you look at surveys like the University of Michigan Customer Satisfaction. So it's Index, uh, you look at the Consumer Reports a little under an amp, the various cable monopolies, and it's at the reality is between a, that, like over 120. It's like we got like about. Has it's like about 125 volts on the line. So, seems to work pretty good. So that's it. That's it, folks. Take it easy and have a great day. Bye.